guys, it's Laverne. How are you this evening? Welcome to my channel. I'm Laverne Santangelo. And guys, this is my second video. Um, I, I was gone again for another couple of weeks, but I'm working on it. I'm trying to get some type of schedule in place. But um, happy Monday evening. Usually, I am at Zumba at this time of night, but it was so cold, wet, and rainy outside. I just couldn't push myself to get back out there and go. Um, plus, I had to day off from work, and somehow it's a little bit easier to go after work to just go, you know, I don't know, I push myself a little bit more to go after work than I do on, when I have those days off. But anyway, I said if I was going to be home tonight, I might as well do something productive, and that was put a YouTube video up. And so, um, welcome to all my um, new subscribers. Hello to all my um, old subscribers, and I am on tonight with um, a haul. Um, I did a little shopping over the long weekend. I had Friday. I had Friday off. I took Friday off, and then of course today being President's Day, um, we were closed. So I had a little time on my hands, um, and so I decided to do a little shopping. And um, I went to let's see, I went to Hobby Lobby Tuesday morning a local craft store into Dollar Tree. Those were the only places I hit um, this weekend. And I'm really trying to cut back on the spending with the craft stuff, even though that's part of the fun <laughs> of crafting. We all know, all of us crafters, we like to shop, we like to hoard, we just like our crafty stuff. But um, I'm really trying to cut back because I saw that there was so much new product that came out um, from watching the Creativation um, videos and so I don't know I, I still I still do a little bit of shopping and primarily um, what I was trying to um, I I was trying to kind of catch some of the good Hobby Lobby stuff that people's been getting I have not had any luck with the Hobby Lobby by my house so on Friday I decided to go to a Hobby Lobby that's about 30 minutes from my house and I did kind of luck out um, on some things. Um, I guess part of the reason I didn't find stuff earlier was because I'm late to the party all the time. And I, I don't know. I guess the other thing is too, I'm just trying to cut back, trying to stay out of the store. So maybe it's a good thing that I didn't get much. But anyway, I went to this Hobby Lobby uh, 30 minutes from my house. And let me just show you some of the things that I bought and some of the other things that I bought at other stores. And I'm gonna go kind of fast here because I have a tendency to ramble on and let me let me just go. Okay, so um, here is a few of the things that I found at, a hop, at the Hobby Lobby. Um, I found some archival inks. This is Vibrant Fuchsia and Deep Purple. They were $1.50 each, so I picked those up. I found these uh, craft tools, the Paper Studio. These are long reach, long reach ribbon punches, which you, well, you can use it for whatever. But I picked these up and there were three in a pack. The regular price was $14.99. The clearance price was $3.75. So I think I did pretty good on that. I think I scored with those. Next thing I picked up were um, some stamps. This is a Fiskars clear stamps. There's 31 stamps in there. They were $2.75 and they're called Label It. And what these are, are um, just, you know, you can make little gift tags, little cards for your packages. It's um, all things that are, you know, homemade, made by, designed by, just for you. From the kitchen of, baked with love. Um, I made this for you. Homemade with uh, care. And then even a little stamp that says from my garden. Wouldn't that be cute? A little tag wrapped around uh, a bouquet of flowers from your garden or um, a package of vegetables from your garden this summer to give to a friend or family. Gift to a friend. So I picked that up. I found this stamp for 75 cents. And it says be strong with your heart. And believe in miracles because anything can happen. So I picked that up. That was 75 cents. I found these are extra, extra large blank tags. Um, 20 in a pack, $1.50. They're manila tags. Three and a quarter by six and a quarter. And um, I love like painting and things like that on um, tags. So I picked those up. 20 in a pack. Thought that was a great deal. 
And then this item was, it wasn't clearance, but it was 50% off the regular price. They had all of their, I think all of their punches were 50% off um, this past week. And so this is a punch that makes one and a half, two and a half, and two inch tags. And I've never seen this at the Hobby Lobby by my house. So I picked that up and I just, I don't know. I Great deal for 50% off. Punches can be expensive, but 50% off, why not? So I picked that up. Then I went to a scrapbook store uh, by my house on Friday. I've never been to. It's called um, Remember When Scrapbooking. And she had lots of paper um, in her store. And she, of course, she had kind of the latest and the greatest that's coming out. And so I picked up these. Um, excuse the glare. Hopefully you guys can, can see that. But this is Authentic. And I thought these were really pretty cutter parts. And um, there's a six by six paper pad um, that goes with it um, that I ordered because I want to get a jump start on my Mother's Day uh, cards. And so this is what the front, these are all the cutter parts. And then this got a navy blue stripe on the back. I don't know if you can see that, um, if the color is coming through with the camera, probably not. But um, that's a navy blue stripe. And this is new from Authentique. She didn't have any six by six paper pads, but she said she would order for me and she's gonna let me know when it comes in. And so I'll pick that up. And then I also got stickers, the sticker sheet to go with it. So this is gonna be really cute. I think this is their newest um, collection, one of their newest collections. And I just think it's so cute. So I think this would make some great Mother's Day cards or even um, cards of encouragement. Um, graduation season is coming. Okay. So that was, whoops, excuse me. I'm not gonna edit that out, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, so um, Saturday, I was um, Saturday I was out and I was on um, another side of town, other side of town, east side of town, getting my hair done and after I finished up, I decided to go to the Tuesday mornings that was over there. And so here is what I picked up at Tuesday morning. Now. I was really good in there. I picked up three items because they had a lot of stuff, but I maintained control, saving my money for when I go to Mega Meat or when everything comes into the stores online, I can order all the newest and the coolest Ranger and Tim Holtz stuff. Love it. And so can't wait. But um, I was really good. I picked up the stencil. This is by Julie Fed Fan Bother. It's a 12 by 12 stencil. I thought this was really cute. That was at Tuesday morning. I picked up these mink labels, okay, four in a pack. I know there's a glare, you guys, and it's late, but I wanted to get a video up. Um, so there's four in a pack. These are envelope labels. I picked that up. I picked up this basil, basil paper pad, 349. It's all tropical colors. Can you guys see that? Purple, pink, yellow. Really cool. I picked that up. And that was it from Tuesday morning. The next place I went was Dollar Store, and that's a really, really small haul. I just picked up some padded envelopes that I needed. Um, two in a pack, I picked up like about three or four of these. And um, sorry about the glare, but I picked up like three or four of those. And then while I was walking around in there, I found these cute little treat bags. Treat bags. Can you guys see that? Sorry about the glare. These are little takeout containers for Easter. Um, Part of the reason I hadn't been on for a while, you guys, was because I took a promotion at work. I got a promotion at work, and I now supervise a team of eight case managers and a peer. And it's been great. And um, I like to, uh, when the holidays come around, um, I like to give my team uh, little treats, you know, just to kind of say thank you. I appreciate all the work that they do. Um, they work really hard. Um, they're social workers. Um, they're out in the community um, seeing people and um, it's, it's tough work and so I just like to say thank you um, to them so that's kind of why I picked up these little treat boxes because I'm probably gonna put jelly beans or chocolate covered eggs or something like that um, in there and then I'll make cute little Easter tags to put on there or spring tags um, not everybody celebrates Easter but I'll put those on there to give to my um, team so anyway, guys, um, that is it. That's all I've hauled this week. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be back on with a project to share with you guys or just maybe come on and chit-chat. 
Um, I'm glad to be back. I have missed you guys. I've missed YouTube. I hope everybody is having a fabulous Friday night. Uh, I am practicing self-care um, this year, although I didn't make it to the gym. Well, hey, one night, but um, I'm going to get back out there. Um, you guys be well. God bless you and be fierce and see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.